The day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Saturday, October 16, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Army vs Wisconsin. Leading the Black Knights offensively is senior quarterback Christian Anderson, who has looked great this season as he has recorded a team-high 431 rushing yards and 5 touchdowns. However, he was unable to play last game due to a shoulder injury, and he is currently being listed as questionable for this contest. The Wisconsin Badgers have looked like a slightly below-average college football team this season, as they have lost three of their first five games. On the bright side, Wisconsin enters this game on a bit of a high note after defeating Illinois on the road by 24 points in its last game. In that game, Wisconsin's defense was amazing as it allowed zero points, while limiting the opposition to just nine first downs. However, that quality defensive performance was somewhat expected, since the Badgers are allowing just 20.4 points per game. Now Wisconsin will be looking to get back to .500, with a home game up next on Saturday. Our first betting advice is to pick Army Black Knights plus 14. Mertz has struggled mightily under center in his sophomore season. The 6'3 signal caller put his potential on display as a freshman, but has regressed through his first five games. Mertz has completed just 55.8% of his passes, down from 61.1% from a season ago. He's also thrown for just 781 yards with two touchdowns and seven interceptions during that span. On defense, Wisconsin has surrendered only 20.4 points per game and just 217.4 yards of total offense per game, which ranks second in the country. The Badgers continue to control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. They are averaging 208.8 rushing yards per game on offense and allowing an FBS low 41.4 yards per game on the ground. Army's triple option attack took a step back when it lost starting quarterback Christian Anderson, who is still nursing a shoulder injury. If he's unable to go, Jones and Tyler will split reps under center for the Black Knights. Despite being limited to just four games, Anderson leads the team in rushing, 432 yards, and passing, 187 yards, with eight combined touchdowns. As a team, Army comes in rank second in the nation in rushing at 318.2 yards per game. On defense, Army has surrendered only 20.8 points per game and just 276 yards of total offense per contest, good for ninth in the FBS. The Black Knights have also been stingy against the run, giving up only 54 rushing yards per game, which ranks third in the country. Army's run defense will be tested this week against a Wisconsin team that gets nearly 55% of its total offense on the ground. Our second betting advice is to pick under 39.5. 